Oh, I think I might have been talking and was on mute. I apologize. I just went ahead and opened up the chat. Uh, if you can go ahead and just put in there, say, hey, make sure that it's working properly. We'll get started in a minute or two. See if anybody else trickles in today. Awesome. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad that chat's working today. And uh, just so you know, this is being recorded. So that way we'll send you a recorded uh, version after uh, we get off today. We'll see if anybody else joins. We had about 10 people sign up. Looks like I have a couple more people in here. Wait one more minute before we get started. And this is for open house training today. We will talk about the new KV Core um, app that you can use. It kind of helps um, your open house uh, experience tremendous, um, tremendously. I tried it this morning just to kind of test it out and it worked flawlessly. So we'll talk about that too today. Looks like we have a few more people coming on. Wait one more minute and we'll get started. And just for the people that have joined on, we did go ahead and open up the chat. So if you have any questions as we kind of go through things, just put your questions in the chat and we'll be able to, to answer them. And if we don't, we'll make sure we get that answer to you in the recap email I'll send out after with this recording. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna get started. So open house training is pretty um, quick. Just want to do a quick overview of kind of how you want to run your open house uh, from start to end. So let's get started. Uh, so for today, we're going to talk about um, what Open House Connect is, and that is actually part of our lead program. So that is part, um, this training is actually part of that requirement here. So we'll talk about that um, if you're on the program. Currently, that is just for our Florida agents, but we will be expanding as we um, kind of get into those new states a little bit more. Uh, we're going to talk about ordering your signage for housing, your business cards, uh, why hosting an open house, uh, some of the prep work, the setup, the hosting, um, what you do afterwards to kind of follow up on those leads, uh, some statistics and some tips. And then, of course, like I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to talk about that new core open house connect. Um, I'm sorry, the open house app, uh, which we're very excited about, and that connects right into your KB Core account. All uh, right, so Open House Connect. So that, again, this is going to be our for our lead program users. It's currently just in Florida, but we do have plans to expand it later in the other states. And what this is, is it's a list uh, that you'll actually find on our website. Um, I have the URL there um, in the description, um, so you can copy and paste it in the recap email. I'll send you the slide deck. Uh, but basically, you'll sign on. It'll ask for an email address and a password. I apologize if you hear my, my baby in the background. She's a little vocal today. Um, but you'll use your email address and then the, um, the password Dalton Wade, capital D, capital W, without the quotes. Uh, basically, this list um, will have um, available times that you can go ahead and contact the listing agent directly to host an open house for them. These are agents that just don't have time to host one or just are putting them on the list for others to kind of connect with. And there are a couple prerequisites, including watching this um, or attending this training, which you're doing right now, which is great. 
Uh, you also need some open house signage um, to be able to host it, business cards to help promote yourself, and then obviously your electronic lockbox access, which you'll get from your board membership. All right, so then now um, that we pa pa passed that, every single person, regardless if you're on that lead program or not, um, you wanna make sure you're ordering signs and cards uh, to be able to help promote this. So we do have um, two options here. These are also included, you know, in your um, orientation welcome packet, um, et cetera. So you might already have them, which is a great start, but you do wanna go ahead and get those signs and cards ordered uh, before you open, um, host an open house, just so that way you're ready um, on the marketing standpoint. Um, we also have some local vendors. Again, these are mainly for just for our Florida agents. Uh, we will try to get some local vendors uh, recommendations for other states kind of as we go forward. And if you um, need our logo, if you're designing something your own, you can always do that. You just want to make sure you tag support in there to make sure everything's good before um, getting them created. But you can actually find our logo um, directly on our website under the collateral section. And I have that link there as well. All right, so then we want to just go into why are we hosting an open house? Um, open houses are free, right? You're not paying a referral fee. So there's no referral for getting all of those um, clients that are coming through the door. So that's a huge reason of why you want to like um, host that open house. Um, they convert higher than internet leads because you're actually seeing those people in person. You're saying hi, you're getting to know them. Um, and they so they, the conversion rate is actually higher. Um, this is a great way to get in front of now buyers. What are What is a now buyer? Those are people that are searching for homes right this minute. They wouldn't be going to an open house if they weren't in the market, correct? So these are people that are actually going to be spending money in the next month or two. So you want to make sure um, that's the best way to actually meet those kind of buyers. Um, and then you want to also know that this 75% of your first home time buyers, um, they choose the first agent they connect with. So some of those people coming through the door, they actually might be the, the very first time they're meeting a real estate agent. You want to grab that business because when somebody else does, then it's game over, right? So those 75% of the first time home buyers, they will, they will just go with whoever the first person they want to meet and they want to meet you. Um, and then let's see what else we have. Um, oh, yes. And then after um, you... Uh, going to buy this house uh the goal is to get them to buy something else with you right so if they the people that are coming in they actually might not follow through with that house you're you're hosting but the end goal would then be to have them be your client you want them to use you to show other homes to right all right moving on so what you want to do prepping um in advance so for our lead program users, that means to review the open house connect list each week, calling those agents um, to arrange a date and time to host. And we recommend um, an open house being held for two hours max, either between 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Anytime in there's kind of your sweet spot. For additional prep for everybody, um, first you wanna go ahead and download that core open house app and create open houses on the app, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But the link for downloading can be found on the dashboard at KB Core. So there's two apps in case you didn't know for KB Core, you have your main CRM and then this additional core open house connect, um, open house app that connects into your, your main um, KB Core account. Uh, you want to advertise on the MLS if it's your personal listing. Obviously, if you're part of that lead program and you're hosting for somebody else, they should be um, promoting that listing on the MLS. But if it's your open house that you're doing, promote it there. You can also advertise on your private or business Facebook or Instagram um, accounts. If you're um, part of our Paradigm Lead Program, these would be a great um, opportunity to put those um, those shared listings into into um, effect, where you're able to say, "Hey, I'm opening or hosting an open house for this listing." Tag that Paradigm account right in there. Um, you can also go ahead and advertise on your neighborhood groups on Facebook or Nextdoor is a great app. And these are just basically saying, hey, I have an open house this weekend. Come see this home. Basically, you just want to make sure you're prepping and advertising whenever possible for these open houses. Uh, the last thing you can do is you can canvas the neighborhood with flyers the day prior. You can put them on to telephone wire or telephone poles I've seen. Um, you can kind of hand them out to people, whatever you need to do in order to get bodies into the house. Because again, getting bodies into an open house is 0% referral fee. These are free leads.
All right. And then we're going to go into what you're actually going to do for setting up. So you want to arrive at least 30 minutes early for your open houses. This will give you time to get ready and prep. Um, so that way it's all ready for um, when clients come into the door. So what does that mean? You can go ahead and you want to set up your open house signs. Again, that's required before you want to host an open house. You can put them on the main road at turns in front of the house. Four plus signs can get more bodies in the door than just one, right? You want to make sure you have the signage available. Then you can go ahead and you want to make sure you're turning on the lights, open the doors, make sure all those like toilets are closed. No one wants to see that in an open house and get all your materials ready when um, readily available um, in front of the house to give out to people when they come in. And then if you are on that lead program and you're hosting a different uh, an open house for a different listing, make sure you're reading the synopsis of that listing. You don't wanna give wrong information. Make sure you know the information you're about to show. All right, so what do you wanna bring to your open house? Uh, you wanna bring those business cards that we talked about, you bring pens, a sign-in sheet if you're doing it old school, or we re really recommend this new core open house app, which is you can do on your tablet. Um, you can do it on your mobile phone, but it definitely works better on a tablet. But either one of those options are great. Uh, bring your laptop in case you have to look up additional information. Um, the MLS customer synopsis printouts, you want to make sure you have a lot of those hard copies to give out to folks. Um, and then obviously your broker synopsis if you um, want to refer back to a listing if it's not yours. Um, some other tips to consider is you can go ahead and bring snacks and refreshments. Everybody loves to be able to snack on something when they're looking at a house. A uh, hand sanitizer, that was a pretty big, especially during COVID, but it's still not a bad idea. You can bring scented candles, especially if it doesn't smell so good in there and you want to make it a little bit fresher. Candles are a great option. Just make sure you know you, you blow them out before people start coming in the door. Um, some light music to show in the background, any flyers and brochures you might want to show. All right, then you're going to get into your dressing the part. So obviously you want to dress professionally. It's uh, better to overdress than underdress. That's a huge tip um, because you are basically presenting and advertising yourself. Yourself is your business, right? So you want to make sure that you look the best. Um, the, for the most part, a lot of these people, are just the most ex like expensive thing they're going to buy. So they want to make sure they're trusting you as the agent. Um, and the better you look, the better they'll, their trust will be in you. And then obviously the last thing we do want to mention is just to make sure you're safe during these open houses. Um, if you do feel unsafe at any point, stand at the front door so you have that like really easy kind of escape route if you need to. Um, but better yet, you can always bring a coworker um, as your backup. So if you work in a team, for instance, that would be a really great idea to kind of just team it in. And if, if not, then you can just meet your other Dalton Wade agents is a great way to say, hey, I am hosting this open house. I'm not familiar with the area. Would anybody want to come along and tag? And you can basically then split the leads that come in, right? So that way you're feeling more safe. Um, you can also implement other safety tools such as safety apps or even like pepper spray just to make sure that you're safe during these um, this time for the open house. All right, and then now we're gonna go into the hosting section. So now we're at the open house. We're in the middle of hosting. What do you wanna do? So you want to start off by greeting your visitors. You want to say hello to everybody and request that sign in. And again, we're going to talk about the app at the end, but this is a great way to get those free leads. But if you're not using the app and you want to do it old school with a paper and pen, make sure you're getting that information when they come through the door. Uh, you want to also make sure you're handing out your business cards and a synopsis MLS printout for that cu um, customer. So you want to make sure you have a lot of those readily available to give out. Then you want to let them tour, right? So you need to have the, them have emotional possession of the property. Let them take a tour by themselves, especially if your um, the open house is quite busy. You can't really meet everybody um, or tour with everybody at the same time. So let them have their moment, um, but be available to answer any questions they may have as they go through the home. At the end, when um, they're ready to leave, you want to ask for feedback and questions and follow up with them. So if they, um, at the end, or they're about to leave, you say, hey, like, what did you like about the house? Um, you can get their feedback, right? And if it's negative feedback or positive, if you're actually not, host or if you're hosting it for somebody else, you want to make sure the listing agent knows, or if you're hosting it for a seller, make sure your seller knows that feedback that they're getting. Um, you can also ask, you know, the, what, search criteria are these people looking for if you're trying to grab them as a lead you want to make sure you have as much information as possible and in the app you can actually um 
put in there as well that information, which we'll get into. Um, any questions that they might have, you want to make sure you answer them. And if you don't know if you're hosting it for somebody else, let's say, make sure you say, I will follow back with you. Let me make sure I have your right phone number written down. What's your email? Make sure you're following up, which then obviously leads to our follow-up section. Um, so if anybody wanted to make an offer on the home and they didn't um, have their own agent, offer to be their buyer's agent. Write the offer for them. Again, these are 0% leads. Everybody's kind of up for grabs at open houses. Um, and then again, you want to follow up and it's crucial. Make sure you're um, setting that information in your CRM tasks to follow up, et cetera. You don't want to lose these free leads. All right. So then what are we doing afterwards? So again, our big um, item right now is to feedback and closing up. So you want to go ahead first by just making sure that you're turning off the lights or closing the doors. You want to basically leave the house as you found it. So that's what you want to do before you're leaving the the um, the property. Lock up um, and put the key back in the lockbox and gather any open house signs so that way it doesn't even look like you were there at the end of it. And then you want to make sure you provide that feedback that you got um, to the seller or listing agent, depending if you're working it for somebody or working it for a client. Um, and then you want to follow up. So again, you want to follow up with these people that you the leads that you get. Um, at this um, open house. Um, you can add everybody to the KB Core CRM if you didn't use the mobile app. So if you are doing it um, kind of old school with a pen and paper, make sure you're um, promptly putting them in there and setting those clients up on a search alert. Um, lastly, you wanna make sure you're um, sending a thank you text or an email, sometimes both even works, just to say thank you for coming out to my open house today. It was really great meeting you. Do you have an agent you're working with? Can I be your agent? Follow up with that thank you and text message. And then you wanna put them on a smart campaign in KB Core and check in um, periodically, automatically. You're not following up physically, but you can put them on that, that, that drip and it'll check in periodically for you. And then you have your showings, which um, is greater than closings. And it's unlikely that they will buy that particular house free from you, right? But the goal is to get them um, on um, the goal is to get them on the showings as soon as possible from them to buy another one from you. So your goal at the end of the day is if they're not going to buy that open house, they're still going to become your lead. You're going to become that buyer's agent. That is the goal. Again, these are zero percent referral. All right, so then we're just gonna move into some statistics and tips. Um, so on average, um, uh, there's nine potential buyers that visit an open house and that statistic comes from this website here. And if you do the math, one open house a week, that's nine leads in one week. So 36 leads in a month. Um, that conversion rate is usually 5%, which is great. Um, so even if you do one to two closings a month, it's definitely worth doing. Um, and then again, we want to also remind you that 75% of the first time home buyers work with that first agent they bond with, and this could be you by hosting open houses. All right, and then you wanna also make sure you have a tip here. Um, you're gonna ask your attendants during that follow-up, um, hey, how did you hear about this open house? You can um, adjust your marketing efforts in the future to reflect that. And KB Core um, app that, that we'll talk about actually it has a section in here. You can do that um, right from the app. Um, you can also, um, if you're going to be busy, consider getting a second agent. It's also a great safety tip. All right. I actually, look, before I continue, I did just get a, or, um, a question. Um, they say, when hosting an open house for another agent, are open house signs with our names okay? Or should we um, have Dalton Wade signs without names? You can definitely have your name on that sign. Um, when Open House Connect, especially, um, you're basically contacting that listing agent and saying, hey, like, I'm going to, I can op um, host your open house because these are people that um, are wanting another agent to host for them, right? So you can definitely have your name on that open house sign. That's no problem um, to be able to help market yourself. That was a great question. All right. And then we just want to talk about um, a little bit of this core open house app. So again, you can get this app um, on your mobile device or on a tablet device. And it is recommended um, from the KV Core team to use the tablet version um, during open houses. But if in a pinch, you can use the mobile app, obviously. Um, this is what kind of what it looks like. You'll have, um, they'll be able to sign in with their first name, their last name. And these are kind of all custom, um, customizable. So um, I'm sorry, the first, the last, and the email are required no matter what. 
but you, you can, in addition, ask for their phone number, which is always recommended. Um, ask if they're currently working for an agent. Um, how did you hear about those open house? Those are all customized um, if you can, if you want them on there or not. Um, so other features you can choose to display would be um, the, uh, the, like the image that's on here, price, bed, bath, et cetera. So in very small print, I don't know if you can see it on your, your computer here. It has that information listed. You can either turn that off um, or keep it on. Your photo, I believe, is on automatically. Um, and that they grab that headshot from KB Core. And again, that's extremely important to make sure your headshots are uh, correct in that system. Uh, but basically when you go on, you'll, you'll download the app, you'll log on with your KB Core login. So that way it connects the two together. And it's very seamlessly, as soon as the um, customer or client comes into your open house, they fill this out. This information is automatically gonna be put into that KB Core account. So you're not having to decipher um, somebody's writing. You don't have to try to make some time to input all the names that's on there. It's automatically gets inputted. You can also even add a hashtag when you're um, creating this um, open house experience on the phone. And this is great because then you can bulk um, email or text these people that have this hashtag um, automatically, right? So you're not like finding those leads within all of your other leads that you can automatically have them hashtag. I gave a couple examples by either saying like open house and then the address or open house and the date um, are just two examples that you can use um, in the system. Um, you can also even track prior um, open houses. So it'll list out all the open houses you've had with all of the client information within the app. So you can actually see kind of like what's working in your marketing. Like if you know you had four open house signs and uh, on today, let's say, and then tomorrow you only had two, but yesterday's was, uh, was so much better because you had more. You can kind of target your marketing that way. And it's really kind of cool to see um, with the, the, the tracking that it does add. And then again, I want to point out, it automatically adds those leads into KB Core for you. So it's a huge um, advantage to use this app when you're utilizing our brand new CRM. Uh, let's see, it looks like we have another question. Uh, do I have an account with KB Core? Everybody um, that is with Dalton Wade has a KB Core account. This is our new CRM we just switched over last week. If you do not have access to it, um, I can put in the chat right now, my personal, uh, or not personal, but my work email here, uh, dolanwade.com, and just shoot me an email and say, hey, I don't have access to um, to uh, KB Core yet. Please help me get on. And just shoot me an email and we'll get you get you set up. We just, um, it's our brand new CRM and everybody should have access to it. All right, so that just leads us to the end. So again, we knew this was gonna be kind of a quick training session. Um, does anybody else have any other questions? Um, I'm more than welcome to answer them. Feel free to add them to the chat. And I also think my name might also be different in here than I'm Cheryl. I should have probably mentioned that at the beginning. I think, I think my name might be our old uh, training specialist on here, but yes, Cheryl at DaltonWade.com would be where you email me and we'll get you on, on open house. But I will uh, stick around in case anybody has any questions. And if not, I really appreciate you all uh, staying here today and um, seeing this uh, training session with me. You're very welcome. Hopefully this was uh, helpful for you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. And again, I apologize if you were hearing my baby in the background for those that have uh, joined in today. All right. Well, if there's no other questions, I'm going to let you guys have the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, I will send a recap email with the slide deck with this recording so you can uh, refer back to it and let me know if you need help getting onto KV Core. I really appreciate everybody. Have a great day. Bye.